Welcome to a tutorial how to win in the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Uh, I've been taking a lot of comments. Why does your voice sound like that? Nice glasses, nerd. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Um, today we're gonna... I can't keep this up, man. Okay, so here's the thing, all right? Like, th this is what we got in this game. This is what we got. You ready for this? Tainted Isaac done. Tainted Maggie done. We got Tainted Cain. We got two things as Tainted Eve. We got a lot as Tainted Lazarus still. I have barely even touched Tainted Eden. Tainted Lost, we had some remarkable victories with lately. But we still have a lot to do. And then, I think it's just Tainted Jacob after that. Like, we're getting, we're getting really close to actually finishing some stuff off here. Um, which is a lot of fun for me. <laughs> Let's do some Tainted Cane, alright? But somebody... Here's all I want to know about Tainted Cane, okay? I know this is, this is like a, I said I would never do it again. Um, but here we are. All I want to know is Tainted Cane. Can you please tell me the recipe for divorce papers? And don't say six beers a night. I would love to know the divorce papers recipe. Stop picking up consumables. We don't even know what the heck that is. I mean, I you know I should just look it up. Okay, I'm just gonna look it up. Tainted cane recipe cheat sheet. Because these are items that are like renewable. Somebody made this, I think, on the subreddit. Tainted cane calculator. What the heck? Spoonbender is three keys, a spirit heart, and four nickels. That's insane. Steam sale is really good. Four coins, a heart, two keys, a bomb. 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 I've already forgotten it. I don't think I'm gonna remember any of this stuff. Four keys? A heart, two keys, four coins, a, a heart, two keys, a bomb. Half heart and, and regular heart are two different things, right? Two keys. Yoink. They're the same thing! So we need a coin, a heart. I've already lost it, man. I've already lost it. Four coins, a heart, two keys, and a bomb. So we just need a bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that'll be Steam Sale. But then I'm like, in my head, I'm like, why the heck am I getting Steam Sale? Because then I gotta buy stuff on the shop. I buy stuff on the shop, but it's just gonna make more recipes. I don't know why. I don't know why either, okay? Six coins, two bombs is divorce papers. Okay, that's super easy. Six coins, two bombs. Six coins, two bombs. We just need a bomb for this first. Six coins, two bombs. Six coins, two bombs. You could make multiple steam sales, I suppose. That's true. And six coins, two keys. So really, six coins is the foundation of many good things. Six coins, two keys makes tractor beam. Good to know. Okay, well, I'm never going to remember that. But we're going to try to win regardless. It'll happen at some point. <laughs> <clears throat> NL, how are you wearing a black t-shirt right now? It's 100 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Um, so I really, I, I talk about this a little bit in today's Isaac episode. But it's very, very funny to me. Hold on, I'm gonna fight the boss, I think, before I go deep into this tangent. Uh, literally in Abbotsford, which is just east of Vancouver, the hottest temperature uh, of weather, at least, in Canadian history uh, was recorded. A bomb. It was like 46 degrees Celsius or something like that. It's, uh, okay, maybe it's not just east, but you get the idea. So it's like, it's, it's hot, man. Like... It is legitimately, like, unseasonably, unbelievably warm in BC. 
But we have air conditioning and like two good fans and everything is totally fine. So I feel like I can't even comment uh, on it. <laughs> Cause honestly, like everything in inside of our domicile right now, everything is beautiful, man. Uh, I, I genuinely like cannot uh, be mad at all. Uh, I'm I'm not suggesting like that means that is is not legitimately hot like on planet Earth. I'm just saying like I mean this is a great start, man. Uh, I'm just saying that we ourselves like Kate and myself can't complain too much about the heat. But I've been reading stories that are like crazy. Like uh, apparently all the hotels in Vancouver are like booked up right now by people that are trying to escape the heat because all the air conditioners were sold out and like most people don't have uh, AC in Vancouver to begin with because you know if, if you live in a place that was built uh, you know in the well not recently really they didn't really use AC in Vancouver like the it might get a little bit hot a couple times a year but that's about it um, so it's pretty, it's it's not rare here, but it's uncommon. So people are like going to hotels, but then people, they, I read this story on the Vancouver subreddit where they like went to this hotel in downtown Vancouver to escape the, uh, the oppressive heat. And then while they were at dinner in the hotel, the AC in the entire hotel broke. Uh, and then they went down to the lobby and there were just dozens of people down there being like, what the hell? The AC's broken. And then they had to refund everybody. It's just like, it, it's, it's wild. I also have to acknowledge, like, the other thing is when people say things like, oh, you know, it's only like 30, you know, I think it's like, it's going to be 38 Celsius today. A, that's really hot for like where we live. But B, it's also like, you gotta remember, you know, I'm, I'm in a, a very thermodynamically ideal sort of environment to stay cool. You know, in terms of like the height of where I live, the direction that the sun hits the windows at and stuff like that. But there's people that live like, you know, in a southeast or southwest facing window or uh, south east or southwest facing like condo unit like you know 20 floors up that has no ac in it and stuff like that like it could literally get to be like 40 41 degrees celsius in your in your apartment which is crazy so i, I really like it the heat wave is insane i do have to acknowledge it's pretty comfortable like in my in my house right now but it is is mighty hot outside no question there Okay, hold on. This, this, use, use your brain, okay? Two bombs, and then just fill the rest with coins. And we're a very happy man. I thank you. Then I don't need a jacket? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't need a jacket. This is Isaac with the Bane cosplay. Just wait until we get, like, our, our 17th tractor beam. You'll be ashamed of your words and your deeds. So yeah, I mean that's it. It, it is funny though, because like all anybody from Vancouver wants to talk about right now is the heat, which makes perfect sense. But I I have to choose between being like, yeah, it's hot, but like you know, I, it's kind of stolen valor because we're actually pretty comfortable. Like I slept fantastically last night. I, like, I don't know how to react in those situations. It's, it's like... Okay, Boneheart can be pretty good here. I Like, I don't know what to do. I, I, I'm i so used to being in a position of complaining about nothing that when everything's going fine for me, I'm like... Uh, I, I don't know how to react. It, it's put me in a strange position. <laughs> Boneheart is insanely good. I don't even remember... Oh, yeah, Rock Bottom is good. Hold on. Rock Bottom... Tainted cane recipe. If we could just just do this once, man, we don't have to do it ever again. Rock bottom. 
is very cheap to craft. Four pennies, three keys, and a bone heart? That's insane. Four pennies, three keys, and a bone heart. Four pennies, three keys, and a bone heart. I don't care about this garbage. Get out of here. Give me this. How on earth do you do boss rush with this guy? That's a great question. <laughs> good point. Use the blood bank to get pennies. That's a good point. That's a good point. Okay, hold on. Four pennies. Three keys and a bone heart. Four pennies, three keys, and a bone heart. Oh, we can still sneak in there. Four pennies. That's what we got. We're at, we have four pennies. We need three keys, please. Four pennies. We need two more keys. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. Like, th this is what the banter is going to be like this episode. But it is what it is. Four pennies. <laughs> I know you're like, why, why can't you keep this locked into your brain? I don't know, okay? Four pennies, three keys, and a bone heart. So we just need two keys. Two keys. Two keys. That's it. Just need two more keys. Two keys. Two keys for me, please. Two keys. Two keys. Why am I doing this? Well, because I'm trying to also get into the boss trap room like an idiot. There's really, like, not that much reason to do so, but here I am. That You took a bone art from me? What the heck? Oh, it's because you've got spirit hearts backing me up. You're absolutely right. Okay. Well, you know what? In in some ways, though, that's freedom. Because it means I can leave. It means you're going to give me two keys right here. Ah, it's not a big deal. It's all offense. Planetarium chance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is more important. Two keys to get rock bottom is way better than going to the shop in the item room. Give me air fryer anecdotes. I got I got none uh, from lately, except that uh, you know it's. I, I I thought of making a tweet, but you can't tweet anything about the younger generation without them you know bringing up the imminent like climate collapse and stuff. So it really takes a lot of the fun out of it. Um, oh, excuse me, one more key is good. But I was gonna say like you know I, it's not like I had the hardest time in the world in college. Like it was, you know. Mostly just like pretty fun. Um, there's rock bottom. That's a big one. But I do think, like, in your dorm, I don't know if they can let you have an air fryer in your dorm room now that I think about it. But like, the tweet was going to be something like, kids these days have it too easy. When I was in college, you rented off campus from somebody, they gave you a hot plate and a single pot that they bought at the dollar store. Now with like a single, or with like 200 bucks, you can get an air fryer and an instant pot and cook restaurant quality meals, you know, in your little dorm room closet. But that's not the case anymore. Hey, Atlanta Spy UK, thanks for the, the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. We got in trouble for having a George Foreman grill. Yeah, I mean, it's like an open, uh, this is an open hot, filament that that literally like the the thing that the that the grill is famous for is creating like a pool of fat easily ignitable fat i'm not surprised you got in trouble for having a, a george foreman grill in your dorm room the other thing that i'll say is like you know i, I was 17 when i went to the dorms right at the time, some of those rules seemed ridiculous. You're like, what kind of idiot would need this rule? It was me, honestly. Like, I was the idiot. I just didn't realize it. 
I was 17 in my freshman year of university, i.e. I thought I was like the smartest person on planet Earth and the rules only applied to idiots and not to me. In reality, like, uh, hold on. Those, those rules are, they, they, they exist for a purpose, you know? And the frickin' pressure cooker is safer? I believe that the Instant Pot is idiot-proof. I don't know if that's true, but in my life I have never... Please let me out. I have never... And I've looked, because like my mom is paranoid that the Instant Pot is gonna explode. But I looked to see like if there's ever been a recorded Instant Pot explosion. Uh, and, and it does not appear that there is one. I think they're engineered that unless you like rip off the safety features or something like that, you're, you know, they're, they're idiot proof. No one survived to tell the tale. Excuse me. Excuse me, Ruka. If, if you're too hot to be in the room, then don't try to force it. <laughs> Ruka, I'll, I'll put you, we'll just go to a cooler place, buddy. You got nothing to worry about. This is like the hottest room in my house. Yeah, it's so much cooler out there. <clears throat> I just realized Tomo's actually, uh... He's like under the board game cabinet right now. My man's is crazy. Yeah, you, you could, don't get me wrong, you could hurt yourself with the Instant Pot pretty easily. Uh, by just being like, oh, I wonder how much steam comes out of the steam hole. And then putting your face in front of it. It's a heck of a room here. But I don't think it's ever going to explode on you. Okay. Just keep, keep it rolling here. That's right, the steam hole. It's mighty good. I do kind of feel like we should suck up some of these. Soul? What the heck is the soul of Blue Baby? I have no idea. <laughs> Hear me out here. Oh no, the recipe backseating is starting. Oh, did you just get here? Um, Cause it, like it's been going on, I think since the second floor. You just gotta kind of own it, I suppose. Okay, now we're talking. How's that for a recipe backseating? Pluto for an incredible size down? You asked? No, I asked specifically for like one recipe. Um, and then it, it opened the floodgates, which is uh, not my fault. I was gonna say I suppose that's my fault, but um, Realizing between Isaac and FTL lately, mo mostly Tainted Kane and Isaac, to be fair. Um, I always say uh, it's my fault, and then I realize, like, later, I'm like, it's not actually at all. It's actually, like, your fault. <laughs> Which is why now when I want a recipe, uh, I just go to the wiki, and uh, I look up the recipe I want. And then when I see someone try to steamroll banter by being like, hey, just so you know, like, what if you put, like, another five bombs and then, like, a single red heart in there? You think something cool would happen? Wink, wink. I just, I compartmentalize it in my head and then try to uh, get out of it. And I, I, I tell myself every day, you know what it is? It's like being in organic chemistry uh, in, my, in my third year of university. I'm not, I don't understand all this stuff. I don't understand chiral forms. I don't know how we're building um, these models, but I do know that you have to build the models uh, in order to write some stuff down that it has the correct answer. But I, every time I studied it and I hated it, I just thought to myself, self, once you're done with this, you don't even have to take Orgo 2. You could just uh, take a different track and go into uh, biochemistry, which is a little bit more, you know, your speed. I had no reason to... I, I wasn't going full Walter White on that one. This recipe for rock bottom is absolutely bonkers. My family went nuts for it. 
<clears throat> Alright, but the crab cycle bangs. I honestly, like, I know I've said, dude, we're so small, we're like missing the consumables there. Um, I know I've, uh, I've said this before. I don't mean to insult chemistry. Like, a lot of the things that I was so confident, uh, in life, that I, like, knew and knew about myself, as you get older, you change into a different person gradually. And the things you held to be so true, you realize were just antiquated beliefs that you held when you were, like, 16 years old. So, like, I'm not saying that, um chemistry sucks. I was not in a position to really like respect chemistry when I was going to uh, school and I know there's some irony here without a doubt, but despite being in science, I hated lab work. You know? It was not a... Uh, I I never... I think if, if I look back on my academic career, the reason I went to school for biology is because I enjoyed learning about the world around me, I feel like it was not impressed upon me at an early enough age that in order to learn about the world around you, as a scientist, you have to do scientific experiments. You don't merely like, oh, I'm a professional uh, chemist. All I do is read the textbook all day, right? Like, that's not the, uh, it's not the reality of the situation. The reality of the situation is if you want to, you know, learn something, you're, you're not going to be learning, like, insanely broad things. You're going to be doing, like, your PhD thesis on, like, oh, like, let's look at the metabolite concentration inside of a cockroach if you yell in its ear and you're like, oh, a little bit more uh, glucagon. That's interesting, you know? And then you, it, it percolates out eventually to make information that's interesting to the, the broader world around you. But... Um, so, there's a very roundabout way of suggesting that uh, I just got into it under false pretenses that were my own fault and perhaps the fault of, you know, my... The only people with science degrees I'd ever interacted with in my life being the people who taught me science in high school and thus maybe not having a great picture of what it means to actually be a scientist. Regardless, I didn't enjoy chemistry because chemistry was so much lab work. And I, at the time, I didn't like lab work, but I think I might enjoy it now because I, I enjoy, though I'm bad at it, I enjoy building like IKEA furniture. Um, I, uh, I enjoy following recipes and stuff like that. I think maybe I'd enjoy it now. And plus it is like real world implications and stuff like that, you know? Like, being good at biology is really, it's the most cursed of all the, um, okay. <laughs> it's the most cursed of all the sciences to have a degree in. Because I think if you're like a, a, if you're a chemistry major or a physics major, people don't just inundate you at all times with like, asking you to prove it. Like, having a biology degree is kind of like being colorblind. Nobody believes you and they always want to test you. You know, oh, what color is this? Oh, 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 what kind of animal is, uh, is a deer? And you're like an ungulate, and they're like, lucky guess. What kind of animal is, uh, what, what's the, what's the first, uh, primate? And you're like, I, dude, bro, I don't know. You learn that, like, two days before the exam, and then you just... But I think if you're a chemistry, uh, if you hold a degree in chemistry, people are just like, they don't even have enough knowledge in it in general to actually, like, test you in the first place. So they just let you be. Which honestly, like, the older I get is kind of what I desire from life. So I can understand it. Range and luck. Why not, for now? It's good enough. You get a math degree, people are always like, have you discovered a new number yet? <laughs> Levy didn't... I, I, look, I'm not putting Levy on blast. I might not reply to this tweet either. But I, I was in the shower the other day and I was thinking of Levy, as one does. And I thought to myself, how funny would it be if I tweeted Levy and said something like, scientists have discovered a new theoretical 
uh, rank, the nine rank in chess. And I was trying to workshop it in my head to figure out, like, how would I... Like, that seems like an Onion article, right? Like, chess, sci chess researchers have discovered, used Particle Accelerator to discover new theoretical rank. Anyway, long story short, I don't think he found it that funny. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got, but... Like, I, I feel like chemistry is like, it's more practical than biology in a way. Biology is like, it's so abstract. I, I feel like I learned nothing. Like, obviously I learned things, but simultaneously, like, none of it has any implications or practical applications, I should say, for the real world. At least if you got a chemistry degree, yeah, you can like, cook crystal blue methamphetamine with Jesse Pinkman. And Gil. Jesse. Jesse. Jesse, did you t cool the methamphetamine so it hit the chiral form? Uh, sure, Mr. White. I'm just wondering where these hydroxyl groups came from. That's all I got. It's, uh, it's been a, it's been a while. Not sure if you could tell. Please, for the love of God, just look up Lusty Blood. How about you, uh, for the love of God, look up and ask your maker to forgive you. For, for being so pedantic. We're having fun! Just chill out. I'm trying to... Uh, this the whole point here is to give you a brief bit of entertainment. Make you forget about, you know, the economic woes, the impending climate disaster. The girl you have a crush on in, in your the halls of your distance learning classroom who, you know, she only wants to hang out with the guy who has the Lego death set star. You're out here going, you know, please, I'm begging you. Look up the mechanics of, of the recipe, but just just relax. We're all here to have a good time. Sometimes you just gotta shut up. <laughs> it's a valuable life lesson. Plus, look at that. And and how does that make you feel? We're getting endless plus twos. It's too much power, man. This is good. Mm, it's okay. Yeah, 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 hold on, what are you? Emperor? Nobody cares. We take the sun card. And we start sucking up the garbage cards. Yeah. You should know your wife kissed me on the cheek on my way in. When, when does season two comes out on the second? Is that like this Friday? I know, whenever the month gets, like rolls over in the middle of the week, I get very confused. It's the sixth, okay. So that's it's more than a week away still. The second is this Friday? Uh, I know it, sister. Because it's Black Widow Disney Plus Premier Access Day. Will I watch Black Widow on the day it comes out on Disney Plus? Probably not. Will I want watch it that weekend? Mm, possibly. Will I pay $30 to watch it regardless because I'm such a Marvel sleut? Absolutely I will. Don't knock- look, Black Widow is definitely like one of the most boring characters in the Avengers. There's no question about that. Um, however, The I'm I'm a I'm a nah I'm a nah 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 nah. I agree I agree with Chad on this one. I I go nah on this one. I'll take a little HP. We don't want to overdose. We definitely need some damage. Our rate of fire is pretty slick though. Um. Also, I find it hilarious that they're doing, like, they filmed a Black Widow 
prequel when Scarlett Johansson is literally like 10 years older than she was when she first played. Actually, probably like 13 years older than she was when she played Black Widow for the first time. Like, I don't... I, look, I'm not saying that she is old. I'm just saying it's... You know, I'm pretty sure she was like 24 or something when she first played Black Widow. And then there... Hey, look, okay, I'm not... I, I, I shouldn't have even gone down this road. I apologize. Um... Where am I even going on this? We're going light path. Okay. Uh, it, oh, it takes place after Civil War. My mistake. My mistake. Uh, but I, I've said this before. I have no idea if it'll be good. I'm sure it'll be, like, at a minimum decent because, you know, that's the track record of the, of the universe there. But I was not at all even a little anticipatory not not hype not thrilled not stoked not even anticipatory come on man uh about black widow until i saw the trailer and then i was like actually this looks pretty good so i'm willing to i'm willing to give it a try for sure leprosy what a slap in the face man please yeah, Loki's been pretty good. Episode three, look, I'm not complaining, really, but it's, it's a little, it's a bottle episode. Some people love them, some people are, are less into them. You can guess where I fit here. Zitai Hironisa, thank you, thank you. Appreciate the gifted subs, thank you. The show overall, very good, but I, I just, I, I, come on, man. You're gonna have Owen Wilson on your show, six episodes, and you're gonna not uh, have Owen Wilson be in one of the episodes? Just even, like, if you, if they had just cut to him for, like, five seconds and been, like, you know, Wow, ham sandwich in the vending machine. Would you look at that? I thought they discontinued that. Wow. But they, like, I just feel like it's a slightly wasted opportunity, I guess, is all I'm trying to say. The impression's too good. No no joke, I wouldn't say I've been working on it, but I've been like working on working on it. It's hard, cause it's uh... Ugh. Ooh, I don't know. What does that mean? Well, it means like, I haven't been like sitting down in the mirror and going like, you know. Grandma slipped, slipped on the sand dunes, broke her cockix. Wow, you know, but I've been in my head, I've been trying to cultivate the kind of, like, the stream of consciousness mixed with the cadence that Owen Wilson is, like, uh, well known for. And he's got a little... That, that was not good, but it's got... It's like a whisper shout. It is overly verbose, but then he comes back and he says, it's, you just got a good vibe, you know? Wow. It, it does get a little, little nicky at times. He only he talks like in this part of his mouth right here, you know. It's a, that's why I said I don't need life insurance. I think I need death insurance, you know. <laughs> wow. Okay, well it's uh, that that's the guy from Heather's. Oh, you mean Christian Slater? The only thing I can say is Christian Slater is Christian Slater. You got to just make your face as wide as possible. He's really feeling it. Low key though, nobody talked. Not not enough people talked about Christian Slater in Ugly Betty season two. One of the, one of the best performances on uh, television of last year, and and everybody slept on it, man. Everybody ices me. In what? In in? Did I say did I say Ugly Betty? Sorry, I mean, not Ugly Betty, I meant Dirty John Season 2. The, uh, <laughs> the main, despite, it's confusing, okay, because the show is called Dirty John. The first season was about a guy named John, but the second season is about a lady named Betty. So it's, you, you get the idea, it's a little confusing. Wow, Ugly Betty on Dirty John, wow, what a concept, wow. Wow, the God of Mischief. Just don't go poking your horns into me, okay? Wow. 
I've used the world card for no reason. Um, that's a great item for me to poop on. Um, is a great item uh, for me to poop on. Surely something here is good. I bet you sleep with a nightlight. Cause you're scared of the dark. Cause you stink like a fart. Ooh. Light your fart on fire with my rhymes. You think I won't? I do it all the time. Funky fresh. Look it up, sweetie. Froggy fresh? Whatever. Uh, I didn't. I slipped between the beam. I sl I'm so small. I slipped between the photons of the beam. Double slit experiment. Thomas Young, eat your heart out. We have just disproven the double slit experiment and the dual particle wave nature of light. How's that for science? Suck on that, Miss Frizzle. F. 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 All right. Well, down to the next floor. Mega F. <laughs> NL, would you ever do a tainted cane run where chat suggests you recipes that you take but doesn't tell you what it makes? Oh, you mean um, every tainted cane run I've ever done in my entire life, whether I've asked for it or not? I'm doing it right now, my man. We're, we're in the middle of living out that fantasy. We finally got a damage up. Oh, like you're doing right now? You know, I... I was thinking that the double slit experiment reminded me because someone in chat said I was just thinking about that experiment the other day. You know what image I think of all the time on Twitter is the one where it's an illustration and there's a, a child and there's two glasses that are equal height and filled with an equal amount of liquid. And then the experimenter takes one glass and pours it into a taller, thinner glass. So it looks like it has more water, and then the child points at the tall, thin one. I... Th there are tweets I read probably three or four times per hour that just make me want to reply with that, but I don't because I'm a public figure. Am I gonna say that, that a lot of it happened as a, uh, as a result of the weather this weekend and people being like, you know, Whoa, 38 degrees in Vancouver. That's crazy. It's 37 here uh, in the desert, and I'm not complaining. Haha, -ha, guess I must just be built different. I Like, did I did I download the image to possibly send to some of my own fans and, you know, alienate them in all likelihood, thus being a terrible business decision? I thought about it, yes. I just didn't realize that, you know, it's crazy to me that, like, Arizona is so inhospitable when you also consider that the double ARP has voted it the number one state to retire in uh, if you're a weak octogenarian for uh, 100 years running. It's crazy, man. I mean, you get so much street cred living in Arizona, um, despite the fact that if you talk to somebody that was born during the Truman administration, they're like, oh, I love it there. Living's easy. No. It's close, but no. Yes? That's the power of... Don't, don't need money! Don't need faith! Don't need no credit card to get this faith! And it might just save you, because that's the power of faith! Well, I guess it would be nice if you don't need a credit card to do... <laughs> I, I can't keep it going. I wish I could. I can't keep... What the heck? Oh, I thought that was question mark, Wheel of Fortune. Disregard. Disregard tweet, send tweet.
What the heck are you? Teratoma? I gotta know. Tiny Toma? What the heck? The heck is Tiny Toma? I ain't never seen this before in my life. It's so big. Oh my god, you're gonna make me cyber bully. Also a great reaction <laughs> image for the record. Um, okay. You know what I realized the other day as well? I was thinking about it. Did you know that Pog was not the first Pog? Like, Pog Champ is not a... Let me rephrase. Pog Champ is a derivative work. What the hell are you talking about? Okay, I'm glad you provided me to the opportunity to explain. There was an original reaction image where he goes... You know what I mean? Like, the, the troll face goes like Hoo. you know what i mean and then pog is just kind of like a corporeal version of that and then there have been derivative works ever since i was i was thinking about how messed up that was man dude that's a damage upgrade what the hell are you talking about it's the evolution of pog the number one video on youtube <laughs> I used to, used to have an acquaintance in university who, anytime he would get hammered, he would always want to, like, because we had the laptop plugged into the HDMI cable on the TV, because it was, like, the mid-2000s. It was a different era. Um, he would always, every single time he would come over, he'd be like, have you guys seen the evolution of dance? And we're like, shut the hell up, dude. You've shown us the evolution of dance video, like, at least five times. We had to watch and, like, pretend to laugh when he does the robot and stuff like that. Like, don't... I'm impressed, okay? Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm impressed with this man's ability to have mastered multiple dance styles that I recognize from, like, you know, the last century or whatever. But for the love of God, I'm begging you. <laughs> This shit is like 10 minutes long, man. Let's just... Well, no, this is stupid. That's... It's worth looking. Hermit, we don't... Hermit... Hermit we can use right now. It's too long. To, well, no, let me rephrase. It's too long to share and expect people to watch it. I know we've talked about this before. I will watch any Vine ever linked to me by someone I actually know. Uh, because of the fact that it's six seconds long. So if it sucks, whatever is six seconds. No, thank you. No, thank you. Membership card? Oh, you're right, I had tractor beam. Hold on, can we reverse engineer this? <laughs> How, what what did we dump? I'm trying to think of what I dumped. You dumped two coins for bombs? Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, okay, no, no, we're one away, we're one away. Four coins, a heart, two keys, and a bomb. So if we get a if we get a heart. We can re we can rebuild it. We can we have the technology. So we get rid of a bomb for a heart. At some point. I don't know, man. We'll see. Hmm. Very interesting. Uh heart, please. Uh Justice, there's a heart. You know, that's not what I was looking for, but it's still pretty good. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna take that opportunity. That's good. That's, that's not bad. Like, to be honest with you, as long as you don't get trapped in the miasma, I think that's okay. 
You can get some tinted rocks out of it on occasion. I'm very confused here. Just keep building. That's the magician. Wooden spoon. Not necessary, but a good platform for us to build off of in the future. <clears throat> Tower plus tower would be bomb. Um, I mean, like, literally would be bomb for sure. You could also have tower plus, like, literally a bomb. That'll that'll get you, like, 99% of the way there, I think. You know, it's it's a friend of the channel, so I'll, I'll drop a spider mod in here. I'm, dude, run dank depths too. The run's not that bad. Anyway, long story short, I know we've talked about it before. I think that if the, the value of... Let me rephrase, okay? You can link whatever you want to anybody. Um, my personal take on the subject is if you want to keep your friends close and your, and your friends closer, why not? Could be a damage up. Was a damage. It wasn't everything up. Um, your best friend in the world, in theory, you could link him to something that's an hour long. The, you couldn't do it every day, but if you were like, oh my god, I'm really into this thing. Like, you could recommend them a Netflix special, and reasonably speaking, you'd expect them to make an effort to watch it at some point. Um, if your acquaintances, or, you know, like... You know, you, you might invite them to your barbecue. Let's put it that way. That video better be like under three minutes long. And it better be a slapper. But even like on TikTok, or I should say on Twitter, if somebody posts a TikTok, I'll watch like a, an 11 second video uh, from a stranger. As long as it's prefaced with something that says like, this is the funniest thing I've ever seen. We're going up. Yes. It's on, I know a lot of people have said, like, it's an attention span thing. Like, we get it, your attention span is too small. No, honestly, like, some of y'all are just linking shit that is too freaking long. And then relying on people's desire not to be impolite to get them to watch it and say, Haha, that was really good. Like, your, your desire for that kind of, like, approval from other people is what's causing this whole thing to begin with, man. What if it's good? It can be good. Does it require, like, you know, 400 hours of context to be able to get the joke? You always look. I'm just gonna pop it, man. I'm just gonna say, if you send me something, it better not be that photo of what you egg stabs him. Or, not gonna lie, anyone else think that that episode where Joel puts on a bald cap from Community? Bald Joel really reminds me of NL. My therapist. Community NL can't hurt you. Community NL. Picture of Joel McHale wearing a bald cap when he pretends to be the Dean from that episode of Community. Hey, have you seen this? Uh, bagel sliced the wrong way with peanut butter and jelly in the middle. If a horse wore pants, would they wear them like this? <laughs> or would, would they wear them like this, man? Like what? Where would that would they do it? I don't know. It's crazy. No, this. What's what's worse, in from the the recipe standpoint, coins or red hearts? It was Bozo. Bozo did the dub. Red hearts are worse. They're the same. Okay. Well then, let's let's shuffle the recipe. Let's replace uh, the cumin's gonna get replaced with a little uh, a little. We'll put some tarragon in here. Beautiful. <laughs> and then we're gonna put the the, the cumin back in. Um, 
You know, I had another bit in my head. I, I can't remember. This is just little micro bits that sometimes pop up, and I'm like, you know, the punchline is not good enough to actually make a bit. But you could um, talking about it being a bit is almost funny enough to to function on its own merits. I was thinking, you know, what would be funny is if you got a picture of uh, Cream, the band, not the, you know, Creme Fresh, um, but the Cream, the band, and then. In the caption of the photo, you say the other members of Cream explaining to Eric Clapton why they can't call the song Cumin Girl. That was the joke. But bam, 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 bam. that's the end. Um, I think this is... But it just gets us into the curse rooms. Who cares? Who, nobody cares, man. That's the... <laughs> I wish you were real, but you're not. How is that a minus two? It's honestly better than any joke you've ever made, quite frankly. And that goes for everybody here. People, you actually be like, oh, I had a really hard day. People will be like, bop, 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 bop. Hard day, bop, 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 bop. Horny, bop, bop, bop. You make a joke that requires like a the very slightest bit of effort. People are like, you're trying too hard. <laughs> Come on. That's beneath you. To your size. Thank you. He said hard. Bop him. Immediate bop patrol. Wee you, wee you. Oh, he's going off. Beneath you, bop, bop, bop. Think. Think, teams, think. Look at what they have to do just to get a fraction of our horniness. What's the we you got to do with this? What's the, what's the we you got to do with this? What's the we you gotta do with this? <laughs> we we you. <laughs> I knew there was something there. We you. We happy you. Oh, there's there's something there. We charge strikers. For all men who kick soccer balls today, all oh, my strikers. May they ne'er be so vile, but... Euro... T oh, that doesn't stack up. Huh? 2020 gentle there, condition. Sometimes when you spin your wheels, that's just... You only spin your wheels till you get traction. Remember that. People G, write that down. Thank you, thank you. Please don't mention Euro. I realize, like, when it comes to soccer, I'm actually... First, I know, football, whatever, get over it. Um, I'm, I'm actually, like, the most annoying kind of viewer in the world because I only watch international competitions and then I uh, exclusively root for the underdogs, which is literally what I complain about people doing all the time. I watched uh, Italy versus Austria. Austria scored that goal. Uh, and I, I was rooting for him. Why? I don't know. Italy, they've won too much. Come on, man. Give somebody else a chance. Uh, then it got pulled back via the, the video after review. And I went, boo! It's freaking rigged, man. It's freaking rigged just to... Oh, oh, they can't have Italy lose in the, in the quarterfinals. So are you rooting for the Habs? Yeah, but I'm... Not just because they're the underdog in this case. I think we're better off with the with without the straw, honestly. I'm rooting for the Habs. Well, for a, a couple of reasons. One is, like, no Canadian team has won in forever. And the Habs... I will root for any Canadian team that makes it to the Stanley Cup Finals as long as they're not Toronto, Calgary, or Edmonton. It's just that simple. I'm, I'm very pro-Canada. I would love to see my countrymen be happy as long as they're not from... Calgary, Edmonton, or Toronto. Winnipeg, Ottawa, Montreal. Love them. Love them. God bless. 
Toronto, Edmonton, Calgary. Don't listen. I'm not fighting Delirium. That's truly insane. We will be going up. <laughs> yeah, plus, dude, the... The uh, Cole Caulfield story, Nick Suzuki, like... Plus, on uh, Montreal, you know, Carey Price would be awesome to see him win a, a cup. He's maybe, like, the defining goal goalie of his generation. And never really had a great team in front of him, to be honest. Anytime they've ever made it this far, well, not this far, but, like, to the conference finals in the past has basically just been a result of, like, a true underdog story. Um... Shea Weber never won the Stanley Cup. Like, there's, there's lots of good stories there. I got nothing against Tampa either, but, like, I, you know, I get that they're, like, circumventing the cap a little bit, but I also laugh because, like, who cares? Like, is I was talking about it in today's Isaac episode, but, like, sports are so funny. Literally, it's like... It's like a frozen disc uh, skittering across the ice. And you're like, I'm not going to root for Tampa because they're using completely legal salary cap circumvention. Like, honestly, uh, get a life. I guess it's, <laughs> it's maybe a little too far. <laughs> well, I'm like, bro, you're not even talking about like the sport anymore. You're talking about the salary cap, but you're not even talking about the salary cap, which is already like boring as hell. You're talking about, like, a loophole in the salary cap? Just just chill, dude. Why don't you just be like, wow, it was amazing how they, uh, you know, oh, look at that bone-crushing body check. Let's, it, it, they have to put the money into escrow. This is ridiculous. My small market team is being affected more by the money that has to be put into escrow, and Tampa Bay is doing the capture intervention. Uh, uh, tell me how Nikita Kucherov, I want to see an independent arbiter Tell me that he should be on injured reserve and they're not, like, it's just, bro, it's a game. I'm not saying you shouldn't take it, like, a little seriously for leisure, but, like, just, just chill. You're talking about the salary cap circumvention? I think this could save our lives. Have you seen the throw that won the Disc Golf World Championship? That's one of those statements where the throw must be so incredible that it's worth watching despite not being um, a Disc Golf fan. Disc Golf World Championship. One moment, please. Sports World reacts to incredible Disc Golf shot. Okay, hold on. My man, he took a full running start, yeeted this thing. Here it goes. It's curving. Um, am I crazy? Look, you're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> I'm not saying that's not impressive. I'm just saying, I think I could do that. I don't think it would happen on the first try. But that that's something that I think I could do. No way. I'm not saying I'm a world... I don't know if I could do it when the pressure's on. But there, there are sports feats. Like, have you ever seen uh, that slow-mo video of Simone Biles? Getting, like, literally 15 feet of uh, air off of the floor. That's something where I'm like, I could not do that. That's not conceivable at all. If you give me all the time in the world, I could never do that. That disc golf shot, given, given enough time, I think I could accomplish it. And I also think I might do it on the first try. I probably wouldn't, but there's a non-zero chance that's a first try situation.
what have I done? I thought I, I thought I had the bag of holding equipment. No, well, time to become the Joker. You guys, all I'm saying is you guys seem so confident that I couldn't do it. I'm the only person in chat right now that's ever seen me throw a frisbee. I'm not a bad frisbee thrower. I would say on average, if I'm playing frisbee with people, I tend to be the best or one of the top two frisbee throwers. I And don't forget, your boy used to bowl. Scared yet? I got that wrist snapping action that can make you think the wrong things. If you can play that well, you should go pro. You're gonna make me say, you're gonna make me say it. What was the grand prize for winning the World Disc Golf Championship? You're gonna make me say it? $75 gift certificate to Mark's Work Warehouse? Why not? $17,000? That's exactly at the level of financial recompense that's very awkward to talk about. Knowing that I would not win, I probably would not. Keep in mind, that's the first Champions of Fire, I had a better chance of winning than winning the Disc Golf World Championships, and the grand prize was 30 grand. Now, I didn't even sniff at that, but still. <laughs> All right, these aren't items. Why do I care? That's not fair, it's Amazon money. Yeah, bro, but the Disc Golf World Championships, they got that Patagonia money. They got that that North Face money, dude. Actually, so there's a, a famous uh, store, and, and I know it started in Vancouver. I don't know how much it spread worldwide, called uh, Mech. It's an outdoor supply store. Hold on, I'm just thinking. Um, I, I went to it for the first time, like a week ago, and I realized um, something that you might already know. People who uh, go outside as their hobby are insane and have a death wish. IMO, I should put that in there. Like, some of the stuff was like, hey, you got an outdoor jacket. And you're like, that's kind of nice, an outdoor jacket. And then some of the stuff, they were selling, you know, the, the Tomb Raider ice pickaxes? They were selling those, like, right next to hiking boots. And I was like, you can just buy those at the store? Like, that's not, you, you, that's not something they give you from the government if you're on, like, an Antarctic expedition. You could literally just be like, I'm going to go climb a glacier. Like, nobody would stop you. What the hell are we doing? Maybe? What do you... The people are hitting me with the question marks. Is, they're necessary for glacier exploring? That's what I'm trying to say, man. Is it not crazy to you that there's like a... 40,000 foot store where there's like 12 different kinds of ice axes out there. You could just walk in and buy one. You like literally somebody getting paid like 14 bucks an hour. You could be like, hey, which one of these ice axes is the safest for climbing a glacier? And then some kid who's like just on summer vacation from the 12th grade is like, oh, here's the one that you get so that you don't die. It's crazy to me. I honestly thought that was equipment that you could only get via, like, a government contract or something like that. I had never heard of anybody, like, any normie climbing a glacier in my entire life. Maybe I'm sheltered. Um, or not. But, 
Secondarily, I thought if you climbed the glacier, it was one of those things where you couldn't just like um, go to the store, I guess. I thought maybe you'd have to like, at the very least, get a catalog or possibly even prove like your own merit or something. And then maybe go to like a, one of those like supply stores where there's like one of them in the world. Like the same way if you want to buy a katana to kill Bill, you've got to go all the way to Hattori Hanzo, wherever he chooses to, to roam. The fact, it, it just blew my mind that it was like right next to the Windbreakers. It was like, here's an ice axe. I'm, I'm stunned that people are not stunned by the existence of consumer grade ice axes. It's, given how little <laughs> many people here go outside based on what I see them tweet, I'm surprised that they're like, oh yeah, ice axes, pretty common occurrence. You see them all the time. Maybe we actually spend time in nature. Bro, nobody here that's getting tilted over like a misuse of the bag of crafting and Isaac has ever climbed a damn glacier. Be honest with yourself. Isn't that one of those things where like once you do it, you experience ego death? I think there's like a zero overlap there, come on. You start to get tilted over Isaac, don't you just go like, oh, nah, you know what, on second thought, never mind. I forgot about that time I climbed the damn glacier. You know what? It'll give us a charge. <laughs> For one. Nope. Goodbye. I think I want to keep two of hearts just in case. This is not the right run for this, for sure. Like, we're, we're going through some, some business here. I can barely even pick up the stuff with Bag of Crafting because Pluto screws up my hitbox so much. But, and then you can't... <laughs> Excuse me. If you have the card, you can't cycle through things. Okay. Good, good enough. I'm going to climb Mount Hood just to stick it to you? Do it. I mean, I encourage you to do so. I got nothing against it. I was just... I, I Like, rock climbing, yes. Glacier climbing just struck me as one of those things where I, I almost thought you had to, like, make those sons of guns yourself. I didn't know that there was enough of a market, I suppose, for the concept to... to why not? For there to be, like, multiple competing corporations that make ice axes for, like, consumer-grade glacier climbing. I, I guess, like, moreover, I didn't know you could just climb a glacier. I thought maybe, like, if you tried to go to one, people, would, like, the park ranger or something would be, like, holed up. Don't they have like guards or something at the at the gates of the glacier? I climbed a glacier is basically like a big snowy hill. Is on his question. Did you have an ice axe? Cause whether or not I take this as coherent to the conversation I didn't, then as far as I'm cause oh I popped the wrong thing. As far as I'm concerned, you didn't climb a glacier then. Because I'm not talking about walking up a snowy hill. I'm talking about, you know, the, a sheer ice face th that requires the use of... You, like, you ever see the movie Cliffhanger? That's what I'm talking about. If you're just, if you're just hiking, that's fine. I'm, I'm not talking about a winter hike. I'm talking about, like, the, the use of the Lara Cross. It's not gatekeeping. You can do whatever you want. I'm just saying you, you shouldn't be mad about this. My take was... I have no quarrel with the hikes. My take is with the... The ice axes being available at the... At the same store where you can buy, like, vegan jerky. 
cracked key, huh? How about that? What if you just use crampons? I was gonna make a joke about those as well. I saw, I saw them there. And I was like, I, I didn't know what a crampon was. No. It is a funny name. I'm, I am stunned at the amount of people. First off, I'm getting accused of gaslighting or gatekeeping. Interchangeably used at this point. And then simultaneously, people are saying things like, I thought he was a real Canadian. Who's getting gaslit? Secondarily. That's why I'm so freaking confused. I've lived in this country like my whole life. People love the outdoors here. No question there. I really thought that would be a little bit more impressive. Um, and I have never in my life heard of anybody being like, Oh, I'm going to go climb like the Blackcomb Black Glacier this weekend. It must happen, because the store is there to begin with. He's gaslighting the gatekeeper, Jerry. We can't get rid of that. You hang out with mouth? Are you sure you're the tar target demographic? I don't. I, look, first off, that's cold to my friend mouth, who enjoys the outdoors. Secondly, I don't hang out with mouth. I wish I did, but we live across the the country from one another. Thirdly, I would trust mouth's opinion on the outdoors more than Twitch.tv in general. If I was phoning a friend on who wants to be a millionaire. And they were like, what do they call those spiky things you attach to your shoes when you want to climb something slippery? I wouldn't be like, hold on. Let me phone someone who <laughs> his entire reality exists in a 22-inch LCD screen eight inches in front of their face. I would be like, hold on. Well, I might not call mouth, but I would... I would certainly think a little bit more closely about who I was going to call. Yeah, he'd, he'd probably tell me it's a cleat. Actually, it's 27 inch uh, around. That's Mouth though? Excuse me, Mouth lives in six inches of soil in his garden. If I was going to make fun of Mouth, it would never be about being too online. It would be about his best friend being a tomato. It's two very different things. <laughs> I can't believe out of all this, we, we actually managed to make it work. There's Tainted Cane. We got all the light side stuff done. Incredible. Slash marker <laughs> tainted game. <laughs> All right.